Hey guys, it's the Coaster Battleman here, bringing you another coaster what if. What if Intamin built the tallest wooden coaster in the world for Cedar Point in 1991? And I'm going to talk about Mean Streak and what would have Mean Streak been like if it was built by Intamin instead of the Din Corporation. But first, let's talk about the Mean Streak ride we all don't like. Mean Streak is a Din Corporation wooden coaster operating at Cedar Point. It's one of the larger wooden coasters out there. It's 161 feet tall, goes 65 miles an hour, that's a good speed for a wooden coaster, and travels a bit over 5,000 feet of track on, on a 3 minute 13 second ride time. The stats are very good on Mean Streak, but the reason Mean Streak is bad is because it is very rough and rough and its layout is not good. But what if Cedar Point can go back? Let's start out with 1989. Magnum XL200 is built and becomes the first coaster over 200 feet. Since it is the tallest coaster in the world, Cedar Point plans to build the tallest wooden coaster in the world in a few years, which is 1991. Now let's go to the year 1990. Cedar Point would try to find a good wooden coaster manufacturer to, to build their giant wooden coaster. The best option f for them are the Din Corporation and B Intamin. Intamin built American Eagle at Six Flags Great America in 1981, and it's in Cedar Point has talked to several people that rode American Eagle at Six Flags Great America, and other people that rode Din Corporation Woodies that talked to Cedar Point and executives said they were very rough, while American Eagle was a very smooth ride. So Cedar Point chooses Intamin to build their record-breaking wooden coaster. Let's go with the new Mean Streak plans. Mean Streak would be built by Intamin and stand at a maximum height of 165 feet. I'm just making it a more round number because I'm the builder of the coaster. Its drop would be at an angle of 55 to 60 degrees, that's not bad. It would have no trim brakes during the first drop, and it would have some pretty forceful turns. There would be a few ejector airtime moments due to the right layout that I want. There, want. there needs to be a lot of turns and a few really good airtime moments in their ejector moments, and the ride would be all about the turns. And Mean Streak would still have the PTC trains, and the layout would be very good and can encounter the new Texas giant at Six Flags Over Texas. Its maximum speed would be around 68 to 70 miles an hour due to its trimless drop. There would be no trims on the drop, making Mean Streak a lot faster instead of going 65 miles an hour. It'd go around 3 to 5 miles an hour faster. Let's go to the year 1991. Mean Streak opens as the tallest wind coaster in the world. It would usually have an hour and a half wait. And tons of people want to give Mean Streak good reviews due to its height, speed drop, good turns, ejector airtime, and smooth ride. Let's skip a lot of years to 2010 through 2018. Mean Streak really does decline in popularity due to its age and not as steep wind coaster drop. The airtime isn't there anymore, but the ride is still smooth and gets pretty good reviews. It's around a 7 out of 10 coaster. It's pretty good. Its wait time average is now a 15 minute wait. Coaster enthusiasts predict what will happen to Mean Streak in the future. They'd think RMC might renovate it, make some intense bank turns, inversions, and overall a solid ride, a GCI retrack. But Cedar Fair plans to work with Intamin again. After a few years of not working with them in 2010 with Intimidator 305, they plan to work with them again in 2020. The turns are planned to become bank turns instead of boring standard turns. To make a more intense ride, the drop will be planned to be at a 75 to 80 degree angle, increasing the speed from 69 miles an hour to 72 to 75 miles an hour due to the steeper drop. The renovation will be completed in 2020. Let's talk the announcement. In late August of 2019, Cedar Point would announce that they would be renovating Mean Streak, making the drop steeper and the turns into bank turns. The ride would be a bit smoother as well. 
Let's Talk 2020. For their 150th anniversary, Cedar Point would have renovated Mean Streak. The general public and coaster enthusiasts would love the ride and consider it in the top five at Cedar Point, along with Val Riven, Top Thrill Dragster, Maverick, and Millennium Force. It would usually have an hour and 45 minute wait average during its first year, so it's a very good layout, intense turns, and very smooth ride. And a lot of people would consider it one of their favorite coasters they have ridden. The new Mean Streak stats. The duration would be a bit lower because of its faster speed at 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Its height would still be 165 feet, and it would go 70 miles an hour, maybe a little faster, due to its steeper drop at 77 degrees. Its riders per hour would be 1,700 due to having 30 riders per train, making the train a bit bigger and a bit more like a Mean Streak motorcycle, which what Mean Streak would be themed to. Mean Streak would be themed to the Mean Streak motorcycles due to its intense turns, kind of like a motorcycle, turns very intensely, and the Mean Streak motorcycle would be next to the ride queue line, and there'd be like posters talking about like the elements of the ride. There'd be tons of cool theming themed to Mean Streak. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.